So this stock in one year managed to 2x from 10 cents right up to the current price of 26 cents. So in this episode, we're going to answer three questions. The first question is, what stock is this? Second question is, how do we even find a stock like this? And the third question is whether we can find any stocks like this moving forward. So before moving to the first question on what kind of stock this is, let us understand what a stock is. So another word for stock is share. And every time when we buy a stock, we are basically buying a small little share for a company. Let me give you a very basic example. Let us say both you and me worked in the same company for maybe 10 years. And one day, this company decides to give both you and me a VSS. So right now, let us assume in this story that I started my own business and I'm really passionate about making teh tarik. And right now, upon opening my teh tarik shop, in the beginning, not many people come. But after maybe three or four months, more and more people get to know about my Teh Tarik stall and there is a very long line. In fact, I find it very difficult to cope with this number of demand. Say one day you come and visit the shop and you say, wow, you are actually doing pretty good for yourself and you decide to invest in the Teh Tarik company. With the money you invested in this company, say I hire new people and I buy new equipment for me to make even more Teh Tarik. Right now, this business can cater towards more people. So basically, both you and me, a shareholder for this company, would benefit every time this company continues to grow more and more. So when we first pick a stock, we always have to keep this top of mind that we are investing in a business and we should invest in a very good business that offers very good growth. So right now, answering the question on what kind of stock this is, Basically, I would label it as a penny stock, whereby the word penny means a couple of cents. And if we were to look at this stock, this stock was trading between 10 to 26 cents. And why I prefer to buy penny stock is that it is very easy for a 10 cent stock to go up to 20 cents, or it is very easy to double your money should you buy a penny stock. That being said, however, if you buy a 10 ringgit stock and you expect the 10 ringgit stock to go up to 20 ringgit, probability of that is much lower compared to a penny stock. So that's one of the reasons why I prefer investing in penny stocks. That being said, however, the risk is also there. There is also a high chance if you put your money in a penny stock, it may move towards a negative region and you might lose a fair bit of money. So bear this in mind, both the risk and the reward for investing in a penny share is relatively high. So the next question right now is how do I even pick a penny stock? So let me show you how me as an analyst have been trained for many, many years on stock picking. So this right here is how I pick my stocks. Every time before I invest, I make sure I read a fair bit and say, assuming right now there is news about how uh, there are many tourists traveling around Malaysia, right? So this is the economic news. Uh, I can ask myself, which sectors would benefit from this traveling, right? So it could be maybe the airlines or it could be the bus players or maybe it could be the hotel players, right? And from there, this is where we pick a particular sector that we want to focus on. And from there, we can actually Google uh, hotels which are listed over in Malaysia if we want to invest in hotels. Or if we want to invest in airlines, we could actually Google on what companies which are listed over in Malaysia. Likewise, with regards to the bus players. So right now, the big question is, would there be any other penny stocks or good opportunity moving forth in Brusa, Malaysia for us to invest? And my answer is definitely yes. And here is why. As long as people continue consuming things and as long as demand for certain goods continues to be there, this is where companies will benefit. And when companies benefit, you as a shareholders would also benefit. 